Each specific diagram in Genesis has been tailored to use custom commands to speed development and understanding using the native terminology for that particular representation. However, all Genesis diagrams share several common aspects, the diagram pane, the toolbox, and the ribbon. Every Genesis diagram consists of a collection of nodes and connecting lines. The individual nodes might be requirements in a hierarchy diagram, functions on a behavior diagram, or components on an internal block diagram. Double-click on a node to view the property sheet of the entity. Lines may represent relationships, such as traceability between a requirement and a system component, or entities themselves, such as a triggering item between two lifelines on a sequence diagram. When a line represents an entity, just double-click on the line to open the property sheet of the entity. The primary diagram pane is our canvas. As we manipulate the diagram content through ribbon commands or drag-drop, the diagram updates to reflect the current state of the system model. It is common for changes made on one diagram to impact another diagram, which is not in view. This is because Genesis uses a model-based approach, which allows you to update the model from different viewpoints as your system evolves over time, while maintaining the integrity of your different views. The diagram pane follows very common paradigms. Select individual nodes and lines, and labels on some diagrams by clicking on the node itself. Shift-click to select multiple objects. Click on the diagram background to clear all selections. Click within the diagram background and drag select to select all objects within a region. Zoom in or out of your diagram using the scaling features in the toolbox the slider on screen, or by holding down the control key and use your mouse wheel to scroll in and out to get the detail or context you need. Use the toolbox, the scroll arrows, or your mouse wheel to scroll to other parts of your diagram. When using your mouse wheel, hold down the shift key while scrolling to scroll horizontally. Using the view tab opens the diagram in the main Genesis application window. To create more room for a tabbed view, you can hide the Project Explorer or browser panes by pinning them to the left sidebar using the pin icons, or dragging one to stack them. Clicking a view icon on the ribbon opens the view in a separate window. Use the viewer at the top of the toolbox to align your diagram. With a variety of editing options, you can change the color of nodes and lines, resize them, move them, even change them to an image. Options are available to auto-size nodes to fit their contents, as well as to align them. You can also insert a shape to draw attention to certain entities, or add a note to give context information for that view. Virtually anything you want to do to visually develop your system definition can be done via drag-drop. The toolbox on the right puts a collection of nodes, constructs, shapes, notes, and graphics at your fingertips. For those diagrams with defined semantics, the toolbox is populated with constructs specific to that diagram type. Dragging a construct onto a branch inserts the construct at the point you release it. As you do this, Genesis will highlight where the entity will be placed. The Key Entities icon gives you access to class folders specifically related to this diagram. Here you see I can access functions, items, and exits, as entities from these classes are used in this diagram. I can select any pre-existing element and drop it on my diagram, or I can create one here and drop it onto the diagram. Dragging a node onto another node creates a relationship. As you drag, the cursor changes to show you if the construct can be dropped, and the target emphasis highlights where the content will be inserted. For constructs that require additional information, when you release the mouse to drop the construct, Genesis will prompt you for the remaining information. The All Entities icon gives you access to all class folders. While each diagram focuses on specific model aspects, you are always looking at representations of the real underlying model. 
In many cases, you may want to create a relationship immediately, even if it won't be shown on this particular view, rather than flipping from view to view. For this reason, you can drag any entity onto a node, and Genesis will prompt you with the possible ways to relate the two entities. In every diagram, the right-click menu provides a rich set of diagram-specific commands. You should take the time to familiarize yourself with the right-click menu on any diagram you use. Here, you'll find shortcuts to many of the common tasks, such as branch annotations, changing node positions, presentation options, and much more. While all commands are available from the diagram menus, the most common commands for manipulating diagram content and presentation are quickly accessible via the Diagram tab on the ribbon.